Greetings, dear friends. We continue our work gathering in our circle, connecting with the love of our hearts and light of our minds in the chalice of our group. I welcome you on behalf of the Hikal group and the 2025 initiative. Thank you for your presence. Uta, please lead us. Yes, thank you. Welcome everyone to our Jerusalem meditation. I believe that all who are present today know the work already well, but I want to say a few introductory sentences. The Jerusalem Meditation Project is an experiment of working with the subtle energies overlighting the city. We make ourselves receptive to them and then we act as a kind of a relay station to bring these vertically available energies into the horizontal life, so to speak, locally and globally. We perceive this golden energy flowing through the city of Jerusalem and also we are aware of the special relationship that the city has with the spirit of peace. So we connect with these high qualities and collect them and yeah, collect them into, into the cauldron of our group heart. And uh, in it, we mold it into the quality of the will to love. It's like an, an alchemical process um, holding or receiving uh, this vertical energy and through the heart transforming it into something that is, let's call it horizontally useful. And we work with it like a raw material, like a substance. And perhaps we can say that this raw material is, is, is the substance out of which right relations may be built. Um, and this is an, an ongoing, ongoing experiment in which we learn and, and adapt constantly what we are doing. And let's see, uh, under the Gemini energies now and towards the Festival of Right Relations, we may be able to penetrate this alchemical process of right relations, perhaps a bit further. In Esoteric Psychology, Volume 2, DK has a beautiful passage that speaks of gold in relation to coming into unity consciousness. <clears throat> he says there, let us search for the thread of gold which will lead us in waking consciousness into the treasure house of our own souls. And there let us learn to be at one with all that breathes, to sense the vision for the whole as far as we can and to work in unison with God's plan as far as it has been revealed to us by those who know. So here we have this thread of gold. So we could perhaps say there is there seems to be a gold frequency, a golden frequency, which creates relatedness. 
perhaps a bit like a glue which binds us together into oneness. So this is fascinating to think of this golden energy that we are um, exper experiencing and experimenting with for so long, for 10 years or more. Uh, to see it now in this context of what uh, how DK puts it. So now in this Gemini opportunity, it's not only uh, the opportunity of being in the high period of this year and Gemini as right relations, uh, very connected to the work that we are doing, but also we are standing at the entry point of three cycles, the three year cycle, the nine year cycle, and the 27 year cycle. And uh, perhaps we can focus here like we do in the last while in Hechal and in the 2025 initiative on this nine year cycle that we are now beginning um, that gives us a special opportunity as this is the time when hierarchy comes together to meditate on the immediate plan for these nine years ahead. So I just want to share this passage with you. It's also from Esoteric Psychology, Volume 2. At those times when the hierarchy meets in silent conclave, a part of God's vision and his formulation of that vision for the immediate present is revealed for the next nine year cycle. They then, in perfect freedom and with full mutual cooperation, lay their plans to bring about the desired objectives of the heads of the hierarchy, as they in their turn cooperate with still higher forces and knowers. DK brings this to our attention so that we can align with this hierarchical meditation and open our consciousness to this vision of the immediate future and especially on that part of it that is our possible contribution to it. And we know that we, as part of the new group of world servers, have an important role to play in this plan. We are the hands and feet of our elders. And each group has a specific responsibility and opportunity to fulfill one small specific part of this big plan. So we can today use the opportunity of our being together to tune into this bigger plan and reflect on our possible contribution to it in this specific work with the Jerusalem meditation. So as we will in meditation today, like always, in this thread of gold and weave with it the energy of unity into Jerusalem and the world, let us let us sense is, if there's anything more or more precise which we can do in the light of this wider plan, um, in the light of what is going to unfold in the next nine years. So in the meditation, we will give a little time to just for this contemplation before we do our, uh, our alchemical work. 
But before we start the meditation, Efrat will give us a, a brief glimpse into what's going on now energetically uh, on the ground in local Jerusalem. Please, Efrat. Hi, good evening here in Jerusalem. It's evening now. Um, actually, what's the most important thing now happening, not in Jerusalem, but all over Israel and especially in Tel Aviv. And um, when we began the Jerusalem meditation, we focused the light into Jerusalem and anchoring the light in Jerusalem. But it's only my my own feeling and, and the way I sense where we need light now here. It's not especially Jerusalem. It's not locally, it's not geographically, it's more to a group, to a new group of people, very, very big group, and, and it's getting larger every week. Uh, hundreds of thousands of people uh, which break and change the structure that we used to think left and right, secular and religions, uh, people who come from Arab, Arab country and from Europe. We were used to this uh, separation and, and uh, the way we uh, we call each group but the situation now really brings a huge power a huge force of people from all streams and the division now is about the big big question of what what israel will be what is the the vision where we are going to it's began with the question of democracy versus a dictatorship. And it's getting like a, when you throw a stone into a pool, into a lake, more and more circle that they find a new description, a new uh, identifier for themselves. The question is what kind of Judaism will be here? What kind of society will be here? Uh, and it's a it's a very 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 powerful struggle not uh, finished yet we still have a uh, work to do but for me personally and the people i talk to uh, which we are belong to this new group uh, brings a lot of uh, optimism and I think it's important to send the, the golden light to strengthen this uh, new, uh, we can call it entity here in Israel. Thank you. Thank you, Ekpat. Hmm. Gives a lot of hope. It seems they more and more people are waking up also to this uh, actually we could say swinging into into these cycles also standing with us on this uh, uh, threshold now contemplating the next steps into the future so good to have a, a group into which we can ground our work so let us take it into meditation now. Starting with entering into our own inner silence. Sitting well in our body. sitting well on the earth, 
connected to the earth energies. Aware of the loving embrace of the mother of the world. Just taking a moment to rest and breathe and let everything come into an alignment. Heart opening. Mind at peace. And shining our soul light through our outer form. And convening now in our etheric outpost in the aura of Jerusalem. Consciously entering this space that we have built over the years, a place of harmonious order. Our radiance is joining into one radiant being. Our hearts pulse in unity. And our minds are connected telepathically we stand together soul to soul in this work And there's a focal point in Jerusalem. We are aware of our being connected into this planetary network of world servers. Taking a moment to sense it. The Ashna center of the planet. And now within the unified field of the world group, let us start to attune to the loving, wise presence of our elders in the subtle world. Gently swinging into their thought field as they are in silent conclave. And together with them, opening our consciousness to the divine plan for the next nine years on our planet intuiting as it takes shape in the consciousness of our elders. Let's take a couple of minutes in silence for this.
Now let us focus in on that part of the divine plan which we hear in the Jerusalem Meditation Project play and see if there's anything that we may adjust or grasp anything of which may lie ahead for us to contribute. Taking now this inspiration, this wider vision with us as we assemble now as a group instrument, a relay station to do our work at the midway point between the higher world and Jerusalem below. Taking our stand there, stable, and making ourselves now receptive to the high vibrational note overlighting Jerusalem. The gold frequency and the spirit of peace. And we take a few moments to fill ourselves with this high energy, releasing all ends.
And as we refocus now in our outpost at the midway point, let us collect the high vibration into our group field. And let us consciously with intent hold this energy with our deep heart between the shoulder blades where heart and will unite. Hold it and molding it into the will to love, doing this alchemical process of making a vertical energy available for horizontal use. Holding it at a point of tension in our cauldron. And now releasing it downwards into the earth beneath the city. See it streaming downwards, anchoring in the earth. And now visualize this quality of the will to love spread horizontally into the city. Visualize Golden Deva builders helping us imbuing the space with this raw material of right relations. And holding this intention together with the Golden Devas as we sound the mantra of unification. The souls of all are one and we are one with them. We seek to love, not hate. We seek to serve and not exact due service. We seek to heal, not hurt. Let pain bring due reward of light and love. Let the soul control the outer form and life and all events and bring to light the love which underlies the happenings of the time. Let vision come and insight. Let the future stand revealed. Let inner union demonstrate and outer cleavages be gone. Let love prevail. Let all humans love. Let the spirit of peace be spread abroad. Visualize a golden unifying wave spread out from Jerusalem into the whole area of Israel, Palestine. Visualize it being picked up 
by those hundreds of thousands who are waking up to a new higher order, who are leading the area into a new phase. Let us see them surrounded and strengthened and protected and guided by this golden unifying energy. May the will to love guide their steps, their decisions. And see this golden wave spreading now further into the nations of the Middle East, spilling over, unifying, reordering, All these Middle Eastern nations that are now giving up their enmity and coming into a new peaceful, equal relation. See the Middle East reordering. on a higher level of relationship. And see this golden wave now expanding eastwards. Visualize a golden band connecting Jerusalem with Darjeeling. See this band pulsing, vibrant. And tracing the band further, golden band from Darjeeling to Tokyo. And further to New York. And to London, to Geneva, and back to Jerusalem. Visualize the unifying wave spread and continue to flow throughout the whole planet, uniting us all. As it continues to flow, let us now focus our consciousness fully back into our own physical location, wherever we are on this planet, and grounding this golden unifying energy right where we are. affirming it and anchoring it with the help of the great invocation recited in Hebrew, Arabic and English.
היא נקודת האור אשר בדעת אל, יזרום האור אל דעת האדם, ירד האור על פני האדמה. מנקודת האהבה אשר בלב האל, תזרום האהבה ללבבות אנוש. ישוב מורה עולם על פני האדמה. מן המרכז שבו נודע רצון האל, תנחה תכלית את רצונות אדם. תכלית אותה מורי האנושות יודעים ומשרתים. מן המרכז אשר נקרא המין האנושי, ושם תוכנית האהבה והאור, ויחתם הפתח אל הרע. יהי רצון, ויחדשו אור, אהבה ועוצמה, את התוכנית על פני האדמה. من نقطة النور في العقل الإلهي ليوشع النور في عقول الناس وليهبط النور إلى الأرض من نقطة الحب في القلب الإلهي ليتسرب الحب إلى قلوب الناس وليرجع السيد الآتي إلى الأرض من المركز الذي تعرف منها إرادة الله لتقود الغاية إرادة الناس البسيطة تلك الغاية التي يدركها المعلمون ويخدمونها من المركز الذي ندون بالجنس البشري لينتج تصمين الحب والنور ويختم على الباب الذي يكلم به الشر ليجدد النور والحب والقوة التسمين على الأرض The point of light within the mind of God Let light stream forth into the minds of men Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, Let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center, which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out, and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth.
Okay, friends, thank you. Let us share any impressions you would like to add to this work. Hi, this is Helen from Jerusalem. Um, this meditation is very potent. Um, the one thing that I can share that is coherent is uh, this um, continuous movement. Um, a vertical movement upwards, downwards, till the, the, the center of the earth, and horizontal, um, designing like an axis of communication. It's like a continuity in an entity, whatever, from the head chakra to the basic the base chakra, grounding us and holding us in alignment as much as possible with a higher tension. Um, I was very uh, impressed inward about uh, with the Middle East uh, reordering on the level of relationships. Okay, I, I can I can add a few things. <laughs> I wanted it to be brief, but uh, today I had a, a personal experience in a hospital in Jerusalem where I had to get some treatment. And uh, this and this place, which is this, an encounter of uh, human condition, the suffering and the illness. Um, and you can see that it is the place where pain brings due reward of light and light and light of love and light. It looks Thank like you. Helen lost uh, her audio. And the frog. Okay, you're back, Helen. We didn't hear last 30 seconds what you were saying. Can you please repeat? Oh, I don't remember what I said the last 30 seconds, but I think that this is where where the Jews and Arabs meet, you know, in uh um and and are uh, and that are um they represent the human condition. And um, it was a place of uh, of encounter, a place of communication, and this is where the Gemini is very strong uh, here in my um, in my experience. <clears throat> so thank you, thank you. Hi, it's uh, Katya. And about this communication, to me, the meditation there was a very strong geometrical uh, pattern. Also, the pattern of the triangle. 
aiding, pouring the energy into opposing parts. And uh, the, uh, the great invocations were uniquely uh, clear and sounded, you know, very special today. So thank you. Yes, so here's Annette speaking. Thank you very much for this. Yes, also for me, very powerful meditation. And in the in the long receptive silence, I had the impression that the attention also of our higher co-workers is more to the on the higher frequencies, on the higher levels and the equilibrium there and not so much on the riots on the ground. And I felt that the, and I received that the uh, development of the heart of humanity um, is, is very important now and the awakening of the human heart for the love, for the love of the heart. And that there is a focus now I, I felt like this and 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 the the question of the the Middle East for me was also to hold it just in the heart as as good as we can this area which is also um often said is the solar plexus of our of our planet yes so let the love flow there up as good as we can so thank you very much And we meditated um, on the unfolding plan for the nine years. The impression came that Jerusalem is like an acupun acupuncture point on the planetary body. And uh, I think at some point in the past we shared uh, uh, similar impressions in one of our uh, gatherings. And this time it was a sense that it's a, that's our meditation is in a way like a magnifying glass that we rhythmically focus above Jerusalem and that it collects and focuses that golden energy that we, we visualize to stimulate this acupuncture point and there uh, was impression that that's the work 
to be continued. Mm. Yes, we had a time not so long ago when we thought, well, maybe it's too fiery over there. We can, we should perhaps not continue or make it softer. And also today for me, I had a similar impression like you and uh, Sasha and, and also Helen that um, Yeah, something is flowing through and it is good to keep it, to keep it up. And we are grounding our, let's say this, this high energy that often, um, if we only have this high energy, it, it can be like an idealistic, uh, unconnected uh, imaginings or something. But when it is grounded in the pain that brings due reward, as Helen was saying, this grounds it. If we can hold this, we can hold both the, the higher potential and that which still is on the ground. not being uh, losing balance uh, by either. And um, I had a similar sense, Annette, like you, you described, that the higher co-workers um, are more, more um, focused on, on that new that is happening now than, than on, the, on the turmoil. For me too, I don't know if it was the first time, but but um, I had this sense, oh, something is working out. This new is, is starting to hold. It's not something that is just momentary. There is now, we can, we can sense this, there is a shift in the Middle East. There is definitely now a new pattern uh, establishing itself there. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, if I can, I would like to add uh, really my gratefulness to Efrat who brings uh, the happenings here of the time and the trend that is happening so fast, so fast, that changes uh, are still not um objective but uh, we are touching upon something and it's uh if i thank you for bringing this image not this image but this the, this uh how you say this uh, uh, uh the kind of snapshot yeah mm -hmm. of the new thank you Thank you. It is really uh, something very powerful. Uh, it's been already 20 weeks that people go out to the street and it doesn't stop. So it's really give the sense that uh, it is here to stay. This change that we don't know how it will go. It looks uh, in the right direction. Uh, and I also want to thank you Uta for this uh, meditation which was very uh, precise very uh, um, effective for me and uh, very relevant so thank you mm. thank you mm. For me, it would be um, good to hear a little bit, if we could speak a little bit about um, the cooperation with the devas, the golden devas. 
Um, yeah, and this vertical and horizontal and the, the golden frequency as a raw material, these new, mm, these new aspects that we are now ex experimenting with in the meditation. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for this uh, beautiful meditation, very precise, and the sharing of what's going on on the ground and uh, the excellent, uh, the excellent guided meditations and great invocations, and the um, the image of the golden light blessing those who are demanding democracy is fulfilling to me. Mm -hmm. you know, I do believe that the devas are there doing that work. Not only the devas, but all of the hierarchy of masters, the angelic realm also are, are really doing battle to, to activate the heart chakras and the consciousness of the people who want to live together in peace and harmony it's time and it's showing up all over the world people are standing for peace all over the country here in the states and so many other places there but these situations mm. are, are are really calling upon the the forces of light and love and the will to to love and especially the golden light to uh, yeah. to be very very activated all over the world and just as an aside but i can i can see the davis there now bikur holim i haven't thought of that term in so long i was in the hospital of bikur holim for a week and uh, i had wonderful experiences of peacemaking work there there was a there was a a, a a a rabbi who was doing his prayers why a muslim man laid in his bed listening to him and then they exchanged and the muslim man prayed on his carpet while the jewish man uh very respectfully listened and the, the sharing of the atmosphere was one of the big big memories that i i have but the devas are so happy to help us when we have these intentions and support us in this so so strongly now so just thank you for the memories <laughs> and uh and for the, the very good feeling uh, that we're doing our work thank you thanks mark Ms. Ruth and Martha and Catherine. Yes, hello. This is Catherine uh, in Hawaii. Uh, Uta, when you asked us to speak to um, the Golden Divas work, um, I wanted I wanted to share that when that part came into the meditation. I, and we added our focus and our passion, and our will to love to that, to their work. It, I saw them expansive and brighten and the, the work expand very rapidly. So it was very empowering and, and, and very inspiring for me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Thanks, Catherine. It was one of the things that I uh, came to my awareness in this uh, extended silence when we uh, tuned into the next nine years how to work more consciously with the devas, the golden devas. I feel them very actively here in Hawaii. Uh, mm. there, there has not been as much cut away from that consciousness in this culture as in mm -hmm. some places in the world. And it's a constant uh, focus for me. And it was wonderful to have it be part of this work today for me. Mm. Wow, yes, very good to have the Hawaii energy through you. <laughs> This vibrancy. <laughs> Thank you. I just want to jump quickly and uh, follow Catherine's sharing. Um, my experience being in Hawaii to uh, taught me uh, exactly that, that the devas, they are very responsive and uh, especially there. And so when you asked Uta about our work with Davos, it what came is that it's uh, formulate, formulating intention that we could learn to work more effectively with Devas, especially when we consider now the next nine years. Uh, so it's putting our request and inviting them to come teach us uh, what is the best way for us to communicate with them. Yes, Alexandra, the, the asking for wisdom and teaching and showing the way from them is, is the most powerful relationship that I know to have with these divas. Thank you. Hi, I, I too, Martha, <clears throat> wanted to uh, thank you for the precision in the meditation and felt greater activity when the golden davis were invoked. It may be given the sensibility, especially of the longtime meditators in this work, um, to begin now that to begin sending them to particular focal points, um, because there are davas of healing. Uh, they can be sent to the hospitals. There are davas of diplomacy that can be sent to the uh, governing. Uh, entities. Um, there are devas of humanity uh, that can respond uh, to to being deployed. Uh, just from other meditations, I want to confirm this seems to be the time we're invoking the devas uh, to accomplish work, especially in the areas where those who know the particular nature on the daily basis of where the transmuting points may be. Um, and those of us who are backing you up in this meditation on behalf of peace building, uh, I, I agree with what was said earlier about Jerusalem being a pressure point. Um, for change that will have global impact. I know it will. Um, that building on this wonderful precision that does exist in the meditation, they, they want to be, um, they, they want to be told where to go. We do have, um, we do have relationship with Davis, the intimacy is established. And, and now that we are opening, we humanity 
opening our awareness in a far broader way than ever before. This is key to right relationship in all spheres, it seems to me. Thank you so much. Mm. Thank you, Martha. You know, we have been, uh, the Golden Devas are part of this meditation outline and our work, our awareness for a long time. And until now, um, I and some others in our group, in the core group, we have had a kind of a reticence of, well, we don't exactly know what, how to do this work with them and uh, what responsibility do we take on when we start to directing uh, mm -hmm. devas course, directing is not the right word, but working together and Im even only imagining something. Um, and this time here, I, I didn't mean to, to, it came in during the meditation, it was just, I felt a ripeness now to give more focus or to open more up to this cooperation with the devas, uh, as I said, in, in, when, when we had the long silence of contemplating what could come into our work more or more precise, this is what I, this is the sense I got, okay, there's more ripeness, there's more readiness, there's more probably need now to open up to, to this work more specifically, so yeah, these devas of healing and devas of governance uh, and the devas, who, golden devas who specifically work with Jerusalem and with communication, that's what we are. Um, mm, honing into, so it will be, uh, wow, very deep exploration together to to give more space to this, to yeah, to 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 experiment, to to dare to, to experiment uh, and formulate more specifically, and then share. Then we need to when when we start to work uh, with yeah, giving specific um, focus. Um, I think it's very important that we will share our impressions and learn together. Thanks. Thank you for your comments, Uta. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Uta. Thank you, everybody. It's as if everybody is so thankful to be alive that the energy is just buzzing. There's no such thing as confusion anymore. It's just a new energy. And when you said raw materials and right relationship, the raw materials included all the animals. I had this vision of hundreds of birds all speaking at the same time and all every element coming in and then when the invocation was read in three different languages all the diversity and just the importance everybody wanting the best for everybody and in love with life the golden thread of fire burning away anything that needs to be burnt away and the golden thread of fire building and shaping all the newness. Thank you so much. Mm, the birds are very closely related to the Deva kingdom. Just before 
having this meditation now, I was visiting my mom in the care home and she has a, how you call it, a, this little, little house where there is food for birds in there next to her window. And I opened the window uh, because it was uh, ha having a beautiful summer storm rain, uh, uh, pretty um, dramatic and we enjoyed it. And then suddenly this huge dove came and was sitting there and looking at us and eating a bit and continuing looking at us. So I started to sing for her or him. Uh, with him and he was listening <laughs> and uh, for a moment we were afraid that uh, this huge bird would uh, would come into the room <laughs> but, yes, he didn't. And, uh, but it was it was uh, yeah very very special <laughs> experience today with this bird was at least five minutes with us, maybe 10 minutes, it was really impressive with an open window and listening to the song. I'm glad you mentioned that, Ota, because I think if it wasn't for the birds here um, waking me up and on a daily basis, as well as other animals, I, I would be very unhappy. <laughs> the birds, mm -hmm. they are so wonderful and they know, they know the higher realms much better than human beings do. They really know the higher realms and they sing the joy of of the universe you know so it's it is really is a blessing to have to have experience like you had yeah we have that here too and it's, it's wonderful but yours is very special with your mother and then the bird being there for so long so that's yes. that's that's really special this is margo in a very deep silent heart filled with golden light and bird song mm -hmm. i love singing with the birds and playing back and forth The, the, the golden light and, and what Annetta was saying about, about the focus of our higher co-workers and that focus that, that it, it's as if it's descending as golden light and the idea of a more precise focus and request, I mean, embracing humanity with the pain of humanity with love and compassion. Um, how that all works, it fills me with wonder and awe and the idea of, of working with it more precisely mm -hmm. is um, a way forward. Hmm. Yeah, this mix or this this complementation of magic and precision. No? Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Margo. Anyone else before we close?
Yeah. So let us hold this alignment with our higher co-workers as they are in conclave now, glimpsing a bit for ourselves the next steps and for our planet. Thanks a lot for this special togetherness. And uh, yeah, shalom, salam. Shalom. Shalom. Thank you. Shalom. 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 Thank shalom. you. Aloha. <laughs>